Okay, so for phonics, oh, I'm sorry. We were working on short eyes at the beginning of the year. I'm sorry. And now we're working on long eyes. And there is something special about um, the silent E that we have and some other vowels when you have a C next to it. So C doesn't always make the K sound. Sometimes you see it with letters like E and I and also Y, and it makes the S sound. So C, K is called a hard C, and S is called a soft C. So think about it, soft S. That's the way Miss Goo likes to think about it. So right here we have cereal, and we have an E after the C, so that means it makes the S sound. Let's take a look at some more. We have our hard C words, so like corn, card, cat, cake, cup. Those are the k, 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 the K sound. But when we have E, I, or Y, like in these ones, where the C is followed by an E or an I or a Y, I don't think they put any Ys. Huh. But like the word cyst, that would be a good one for a Y. But we have words like braces, face, lettuce, police, pencil, <laughs> rice, price, city, and a couple other ones. C is not the only letter that changes sounds when it has an E, I, or Y around it. G is also a letter that makes a different sound. So G doesn't always make the G sound. Sometimes it makes the j sound, like in the word giraffe. And if you see, eh, you can't really see it because it's cut off, but you can see the little dot right here. It says giraffe, and that is with an I after the G. So let's take a look at some hard Gs and some soft Gs. Our hard G is the one we learned at the beginning of the year. That is the g, g, like goat, game, gobble, gap glue. And our soft G makes the J sound, like gist, gentle, gym, giant, germs. So that is about it for that part. You're going to go look at some phonic sheets in a little bit, but for now I'm going to tell you about this little activity. I want you to go through the next slides and try to tell a partner if it is a short eye or a long eye. Remember, the short eye says I, the long eye says its name. So for example, I'll do two with you. This is a picture of a w -ig. wig, wig, Is that a short vowel or a long vowel? It's a short vowel because it says I. Let's take a look at another one. This is a picture of a slide. Let's break that word down just a little bit so we can figure out what vowel sound it makes. We have sl, our consonant blend. I, d, slide. So I hear an I in that, and it's saying its name. So I'm going to say that this is a long vowel, because when long vowels say their name, they say I, A, O, U, and E. For this one, it says I, and we're just going to be looking at some I words. So we have igloo, pig, spider, six, five, kite, zipper, and tiger. So go through with a partner and try to tell them what vowel sound you hear. When you are done with that, you just have a couple things to read over in your book. And it is just telling you that you can listen for sounds that are alike and different. Say the name of the picture. Listen to the middle sound, tell the picture name. If it has a short eye, tell the picture if it has a long eye. So we have mm, ice, ice, I hear an eye. And then brr, ick, ick. And down here, it kind of goes over our soft S, I mean, our soft C and our soft G. And they have an example here for you. After you're done with this page, though, I want you to go back to these pages our hard C and soft G stages, pages, not stages, <laughs> and try to see if you can figure out some of these words. See, like for this first one, I see K 
and then I see the word or, O-R, N, so k, or, n, corn. So try to go through and say some of these, especially these ones on this side, because we have a bunch of silent E's, so we're going to have a lot of long vowel sounds over on this side. And same goes for our soft G and our hard G.